Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. Today I've got another Cutest Cows project for you. This is such a fun bundle. It comes uh, with 24 stamps and it has a matching punch. Um, this bundle is in our current spring catalog that ends at the end of April, 2024. If you want it, you can save 10% in this catalog. It will be in the new annual catalog, but it won't be offered at that bundled price. So make sure you get it before the end of April if you wanna save 10%. My project today is a candy bar slider, and I found these Milkalicious cat candy bars at Walgreens, and I thought, oh my gosh, those will go great with our cow. Um, they're even, they look like they're even shaped like cows on the inside. So cute. Um, okay, so that's what we're going to do. It's a pretty simple um, candy bar slider, and you may have made one of those before. Um, if not, I'm going to show you how. All right. We're gonna start with pecan pie cardstock. That measures 11 by three and three fourths. Let's start on the long side. We're gonna score it at five and a fourth and five and three fourths. And then on the short side, we're gonna score it at half an inch and three and a fourth. Nope, whoops, three and a fourth inches. I did three and a half. Only do three and a fourth. All right. Now, we'll be able to cover that up, don't worry. Let's burnish these lines. There is a free PDF on my blog that has the measurements and supply list. I have some embossing powder still here on my desk from the last project. Free PDF over on my blog has a supply list and the measurements, so make sure you grab it. All right, we're gonna snip the score lines on the long side. This is a really easy box to put together. All right, now we're gonna take tear and tape and we're gonna run it down these long tabs on one of the sides. Peel off the backing. And we'll stick, we'll fold it up and stick those tabs in that side. And then fold these in and we're just gonna wrap this around that side like that okay there we go like that and that's the basic construction now i've got a piece of our um glorious gingham designer series paper it is retiring at the end of april and right now you can get it on sale it's like eight dollars now i've got a little boo-boo here on the paper but i'm not going to worry about it because we're going to cover that up i'm going to put that right there and then i'm going to take my half inch circle punch we don't carry a half inch circle punch anymore i'm sure you have one though stick it down on there and punch if you don't look through your um, circle dies and punches and just find one that is small. It doesn't have to be exactly half an inch. It could be smaller, it could be a little bit bigger. Now take your ribbon, and we're going to use the center stripe ribbon, which is so fun. I'm gonna put it through both holes like that. And then I'm gonna take my Hershey bar and push it down. And then we're gonna tie it up here at the top. And I don't, again, I don't have my good scissors here. Okay, and then we'll tie a bow like that. And then it tucks down, let's fold that little flap backwards and it tucks down into your box like that. Cut these off at an angle. And then that's how your, bot, your, your candy bar slides in and out of your box. All right, how about our cute little cow? First, I wanna show you how to line this up on your block so that you can uh, punch them both at the same time. You wanna get a scrap piece of paper and, and punch. This is just trash, so throw those away. Now, lay it down on your desk and get your image and put it inside that little window there. Center it inside the window. Okay, well, if I can get it to not stick to my hands, 
There we go. Pick it up with your block. And now you've got it lined up so that when you stamp it, you'll also be able to punch it all at the same time. All right, we're gonna stamp the cow in Memento. We're also gonna stamp this cute little milk uh, canister or milk, mm, uh, milk can in uh, Memento as well. Let me bring my chair over. I do better coloring when I am sitting down, so I gotta sit down. All right, we're gonna start with pecan pie light. And I am gonna color my cow, not the spots, but the rest of him in pecan pie light. Okay, and I'm gonna just go around. I'm using the bullet tip in here. Um, our stamp and write, I mean our stamp and blends uh, have a brush tip and a bullet tip. You can decide which one works best for you. I I definitely prefer the bullet. I feel like I stay in the lines a lot better. I have better control of it when I am using the, the bullet tip. All right, let's color in those legs. Our Stampin' Blends also come in a two pack. You get a light and a dark, so that if you wanna do some shading, like we're gonna do, you can do that with the dark. Now I'm gonna take the dark and just kind of go down this side like this, like the shadow is coming, the light is coming this way. And we're gonna add some shadow to the backs of the legs. We also wanna add some shadow here underneath. And then we'll add some there. And then I think I'm gonna go up like this. There will be a shadow under his head. All right, now take your light and just blend that color outward and upward. Okay, and then I might just get my brush tip and flick that color up and towards the center. All right, very good. We forgot this part, let's do this part. Now on his head, I'm gonna do pecan pie also. All around his nose. I'm gonna use crumb cake for those other parts and we'll use Petal Pink for inside of his ears. All right, so get that fully coated, as I like to say, full coating of ink, like that. And then I'm gonna get my dark again. I'm gonna bring that shadow on this side of his face, but I am gonna go behind his nose too to get some dimension. Okay, flip over to your brush tip and just kind of blend that up like that. Okay, crumb cake. Now I'm gonna use dark crumb cake in his spots. And we're gonna do dark here. Now I'm gonna go around the outside of his nose with the dark. And then I'm gonna come back with a light and put it, fill that light in like that. All right, last but not least, I've got my petal pink, and you can use the dark or the light, whichever you prefer. Oh, we also need to do his hooves, so let's use basic black for the hooves. Like that. All right, now grab your punch and line it up. Gotta look at the, the feet, the tail, and the ears. And once you have all those in place, you'll have your, your cow punched out perfectly. All right, for the can, I'm gonna grab my light smoky slate and I'm gonna go around just the outside of the can like this. Okay, I might do that and that too. And then I'm gonna take my color lifter and I'm gonna pull that color to the center. And it's gonna all kind of blend together so that it's pretty light. I also wanna do this right here. Now I want my canister to be rusty, my old cow, my old milk can to be rusty. So I'm gonna get uh, light um, copper clay 
and I'm just gonna kind of flick some ink on there like that. Then I'm gonna get my dark copper clay and I'm gonna go in a little more intense in some places and put like a little cluster of rust. So it's kind of a rusty milk can. All right, and now this one doesn't have a punch, so you'll need to get your paper snips. And we're just gonna go around the outside, stay on the outside of your line. That way you'll only see the black line of the image. Um, my cutting is never perfect. There's always some kind of jagged line somewhere. So if I stay on the outside, the person who's looking at it is only gonna see the black line. They're not gonna see my white, jagged or crooked lines. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna, I have cut ahead of time a pecan pie rectangle. This is with the everyday detail dies. And I've cut a piece of basic white um, to go behind or in on top of it. And we're gonna stamp the grass in old olive. Now the measurements, again, I think I mentioned this, are on a free PDF over on my blog. There's several measurements that you'll need here. Now I'm going to stamp and stamp off, stamp, stamp off, stamp, stamp off, so we have lighter and darker colored grasses. But then I'm also going to take my small blending brush, and I got some old olive on it. I'm going to run it off over here, and I'm just going to kind of color in that grass just a little bit. I don't want it to be too dark. All right, let's get our piece. We need just a scrap of basic white and we are gonna stamp the sentiment, milk it for all it's worth. I think that's so funny. Right here, hopefully you guys can see on the edge of a piece of basic white. And I'm gonna grab my trimmer and slice it off. We just want it real skinny. Let's snip the end off. And then we're gonna put up here the other sentiment that says it's your special day in real red. Oh, I have what's moo with you instead. I got the wrong sentiment. Well, we're just gonna go with it. I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? Gonna start all over? Not in a video. <laughs> Maybe if I was stamping it by myself, I would. All right, I'm trying to find my dimensionals that have completely disappeared. They're probably sitting here. There they are. I buried them. All right, let's put our cow's body right there and our cow's head right there. I, let's turn him. I like him kind because of, he's the winking cow. He's kind of winking. And then I've got my adhesive, foam adhesive strips that I like to use for long and skinny pieces. And we'll just get a little piece of that. And we'll put that there. Milk it for all it's worth. Um, now, let's put this on our everyday details rectangle. And then we'll add in that little can, that little milk can right there. And then I just put the little milk can kind of behind him. Like that. All right, last but not least, we're gonna adhere it to our box with two dimensionals. I know, I will have to change that sentiment. Doesn't make sense now, does it? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness okay there you go two really fun uh treat boxes i'll have these uh linked on my blog hopefully i can find a link for you if not i found them in my local walgreens all right you guys have fun make sure you click the link here on youtube to go back to my blog there are two other um cutest cow projects and the free pdf for you all right happy stamping bye